asbestos. It is widely known to be potentially deadly. And now it's been found in the air ducts of a Toronto Catholic school, which has been forced to shut down. Here's Amanda Ferguson with this City News exclusive. Amanda. Well, Gord, a City News viewer tipped us off to this story. Now, tests were done here at St. Patrick's because of work being done on its pool. Now, the test would only confirm yes or no for the presence of asbestos, but officials were concerned enough to shut the doors. Once I found out, like, what was and all, then I was kind of, like, freaking out. The school board shut the building down over the weekend after the cancer causing fiber was detected in a quarter of the air ducts. We didn't measure the, the, the quantity, it's just it was either a positive or a negative. Some parents called City News concerned it had to go this far. This all started because the school is doing some work on its pool and because of that construction, the Ministry of Labor asked them to test the entire building for the presence of asbestos. And well, four out of its 17 air ducts came back positive. We're cleaning the ducts in that service those particular areas. The vast majority of the school was not impacted. Asbestos in schools is nothing new. Any building built before 1985 likely has it. In fact, 175 of the Catholic Board's 201 buildings contain it. The concern has always been over maintaining safe air quality levels, and the board says they are doing just that. Just to make sure that none of the asbestos has become airborne, uh, we've arranged for air testing throughout the school, and hopefully we'll get the results today. I think I'm fine with it. In the meantime, students are being bussed to a nearby elementary school. And most kids say they won't breathe easy until they're back in their own building, asbestos or not. What do you think about having to be here because your school's closed? Um, it's really hard because we don't get to do our classes. And like, we actually miss our school. The school's so small. Now, students could actually be back in this building as early as tomorrow. We are just waiting for the results of those air quality tests, which really should be coming in any minute now. Live outside of St. Patrick's, I'm Amanda Ferguson.